like um like just uh rotations and timing and stuff like uh like uh engaging when my you know my team engages or pretty much when like targets are like rotating and stuff like when enemies are rotating and they're isolated i sometimes like jump on them or um also angles and positioning as well like i've been working on my like uh what's called like uh just like uh not exposing myself to like to like every target but like only exposing myself to like one target like yeah. when i'm playing like torbjorn or something okay um okay. a little bit tracer too but like trying to take mm. 1v1s with tracer and stuff yeah 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 that's extremely mm -hmm. important well what do you think you do really well currently what do you improved on the most um I'd probably say my blink management for sure. I've been working on that, so I've been blinking more to the side rather than to like, like straightforward or like, uh, like not pretty much like not in front of them, like more where it's harder for them to aim at, pretty much. And exactly. also where I have more, more options to like rotate as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's what we looked at before. Okay. Is there anything you think you struggle with? Um, um, not so much on maybe, uh, my pulse, like my using my pulse and stuff, like timing it right. And, <clears throat> and like, uh, like knowing when's the best time to use it, like, or actually not the best time, but like just being able to land my pulses on, on the target. Cause sometimes I miss like a lot. Like, I think that's the one thing like I got to work on, like, yeah. Do you know how to cancel animation of the pulse? Um, no, I actually don't. Is I actually okay. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, that's very common. That's so why I'm asking that. Okay, I'm just gonna show that real quick. So basically, when you're trying to land the target, it's pretty common that players try to do it this way. So I'm just screen sharing. By the way, can you you see my stream, right? Is it working for you or? Oh yeah, I see it, yeah. Okay, okay. So a lot of players trying to do it this way where um, the blink and the press, the pulse bomb after. So it kind of looks like this. So there's kind of a travel time for the pulse bomb, sort of. It's a really uh, short one, but because pulse bomb is projectile, because you still have that travel time. Sometimes it looks like this, but the players can dodge. It's not the most effective. So what do you want to do? The best thing is try to press your boost bomb animation and then blink after it. That is okay. I didn't. Oh, okay, okay, I messed it up. But let's try it again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically. Oh, that makes sense, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna try it one more. Yeah, like this. Exactly. So it's like one animation. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, you... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Obviously, you have to practice it in maybe training range or back stuff, but. It's kind of, yeah, I messed it up again, but the, you do it more and more, it's going to be easier for you. So it's kind of, you mm -hmm. press Q and then instant blink and it's going to be right on the target. You might blink on the side, you might blink back, it's pretty common. You kind of, the best traces, they start shooting and then they like, okay, like, okay, messed it up again. But you get an idea, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's That's just cool. kind of instant, cool. right? It's, there's no travel time, it's just instant lands somewhere. Well, I kind of landed mm -hmm. it on the ground because it's just, I messed up the, when I pressed the blink. But if you do it correctly, like this, yeah, that's mm -hmm. ideal. Mm. Okay, so that's the one yeah. thing. I think it's pretty common mechanic, so you can can use that just animation cancels uh, there are also some other animation cancels on other characters it's pretty common it's kind of usually you using your cooldown or hmm, i'm just thinking the pattern yeah it's kind of you use the cooldown and then you use your movement ability because you use that movement ability, it cancels the animation. Sometimes it's also kind of how, how you can cancel the shooting. For example, if you... Mm, yeah, maybe let's actually talk about that a little bit more. So see, for example, how your melee works. Your melee, it's something what can be used 
not after the animation, mm -hmm. not after the blink, but it can be used before. So see, this is like different story. I'm using my melee there, right here, mm -hmm. and then I blink. So it's uh, much faster. Mm -hmm. The burst is gonna be bigger where when it's usable when maybe trace to one we ones so it's kind of you know the trace is pretty low or any other mm -hmm. targets pretty low you can start your melee animation blank and start shooting after somebody else mm -hmm. so that is oh yeah another animation uh one more common animation is if you trying to shoot something so mm -hmm. maybe that's just and do Cassidy, you try to empty your clip, and at the end of your clip, you can melee and recall out of it. And recall basically cancels the melee. It's just almost no, and there's no delay. Basically, we doing all of these actions, we can sneak the sorry damage instead of just mm -hmm. shooting and then recalling. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay, so yeah, I think that's uh, definitely something I need. Like I, I don't really melee that much, but I do see like uh like I watch like you know like Capster or something they're like playing Chaser and I see them always meleeing. Exactly, exactly. And Mation like cancels exactly it's because we can even do it this way, kind of melee here and then mm -hmm. go back uh, to another place because I can melee here and instantly blink. That works quite nice, and it works other way around. You melee and then blink. Yeah, like just use a lot oh, of burst. Yeah. It's kind of your movement usually cancels something. It's just works the same way. I don't feel it's pretty common. There are a lot of animation cancels. Like your movement, your abilities, mm -hmm. they can cancel things. Uh, well, like, um, I'm thinking about the character you play. So it's Ash. Yeah, Ash, for example, you have the combo with dynamite. It's kind of you shoot, dynamite shoot something like that it's kind of almost instant what mm -hmm. about the other we what we talked about recently so it's tracer ash what was the other character oh torbjorn yeah mm -hmm. uh for example what you can do is you can shoot and use your e right after so it's just shoot e and because oh, yeah. you use your e it's instantly cancels it your yeah it instantly cancels your shoot animation so you can mm -hmm. shoot right away after so it looks kind of i'm just gonna try it again i'm gonna try shooting this oh, okay i didn't shoot that's my bad <laughs> i burst T. No, so. i know yeah. what you mean yeah <laughs> yeah but cool. but all of this <laughs> is just really nice you no know, allows you to sneak a little bit more damage mm. Yeah, well, do you have any questions about that, actually? Any, any, anything? Um, no, I think you explained, you explained the, uh, explained it really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trying to think about anything else. If we started talking about it, cancel, animations, tracer, well, I think fundamentally that is it. Just around recalls, blinks, definitely melee the end. We just as a finisher yeah we using the melee and we can easily go after another target so it's just mm. oh yeah really nice you have big up time or yeah maybe you far like cast this far start the melee there just make sure it's the right distance then melee blink mm. okay yeah i'm thinking that's it okay uh what do we want to do today actually what do we want to go over do we go over the ash or um, yeah, that will be good, yeah. Going over Ash. I have some Ash gameplay also. Like, uh, probably, I guess, Ash or Snipers, I guess. any, Pretty much anything. Because with, like... Uh, yeah, I guess with those two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Um, before that, is there anything else you struggle with? Just we went over the full spawn animations, animations in general, but is there anything else you think? Um... Like, uh, with, like, Tracer and Torb? Or, or I guess, even, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. When you've been practicing the concepts, is there anything what was difficult to apply, maybe? Um, no, I don't think so. No. I, I feel hmm. like I've been actually doing a lot better in, in my, my ranked games. I've been, like... So I've been playing, like, on my all account and then also on my main account. So, like, I... Usually on my main account, I play when I'm, like... 
like uh when I, after i'm warmed up and mm -hmm. then i play on my main account but um i feel like i've been i've been starting to go up like in my ranked and stuff so okay that's really mm -hmm. good okay let's see uh can you send me the games we want to go over yeah let's do that what about all this mentality stuff, uh, interleaf practice, do you still do that or...? Um, so I haven't been doing the... What's it called? The, um... The sword model? I've been, I've been taking breaks and stuff, but I haven't doing the... Mm -hmm. I forgot to implement the, um... Interleaf practice where you do XYZ or anything else? Um, no, not the X, Y, Z, but the the other one, um, what is it called? Let me see. Okay. The thought model? The thought model, yeah. I, I forgot to do the, the thought model. I haven't been doing thought model recently, but I I definitely should be doing that. Like the thought model. Mm -hmm. Did you find it helpful? Did it help you before? Yeah, it definitely has. Like, uh, like whenever I got into like my games and stuff, my matches, it would like... It'd be like uh it'd be like much like having a growth mindset you know what i mean like instead of, exactly because <laughs> recently i've just been playing like for fun kind of mm -hmm. but i i feel like i should be playing more like competitively like more for you know like to improve and, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that that sounds fine as long as you mm -hmm. decide that you want to Display to improve. That's that's good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'll send you the replay. Yep. Okay, well, what do you think you struggle with when playing Ash? Is there any anything? Um, I would say positioning. Like, I don't know if I should be playing close or if I should be playing far. Or uh, mm -hmm. and then also um, like if I should be rotating like when they're about to engage me or before they're engaged, and then. I guess my dynamite usage as well. Like how oh, I should be usage. using it. How do you usually use time... it? Yeah, yeah, continue. Oh, um, oh, sorry. I was going to say, there's times where I just, like, use it to, like, <clears throat> use it on one target, like Genji or something, because when he's deflecting, he, he, uh, you know, he tries to live. So I guess I use it sometimes on one target, or I use it on, like, groups. Like, uh, hmm? when everyone's, like, stacked and stuff right yeah, okay okay yeah that's reasonable it's just a lot of times the timing of it what is important so we get enough value basically mm -hmm. okay and then also my shift the other one like my close range mm -hmm. like i don't know when i should be using that like if i should use it to like, just get out of areas or or something else but... okay so we kind of there you go. go over expectations first of all dynamite if we simplify we should be using it to farm all charge or wind duels e is just for mobility so your coach gun for mobility or escape not mm -hmm. just escape in a way so you have to move to another position instantly no it's kind of a tool which allows you to maintain your position sometimes as well maybe use your shift you move somebody away and escape mm -hmm. from that target or you can also reposition yourself just have a range between you and the character who went to you like maybe genji closed the gap or something but because they are using cooldowns maybe genji used two cooldowns you're using one then it helps you to maintain map control it's mm -hmm. definitely uh, all of your tools you can definitely think about us a lot of times like uh, an opportunity for you to 
hold good position on the map, get enough value. If you have your shift, you have your dynamite, you can be more aggressive and take interesting positions. For example, you can stay here totally at the start. If you don't have your shift, it will be more concerning, right? That's oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing is uptime. You want to farm ult charge with your dynamite. That's the first first thing. So, yeah, let's think about that. Can you farm ult charge even earlier? Is there anything you could have um, done? Oh yeah, I probably could have like played closer, throw my or throw my dynamite where they're all like stacked, where they're gonna come out. Or so, I'd stay where I'm at and wait for the whole team to you know, push out. I could get a group dynamite. Yeah, but you sort of do it here. Well, you use it on mm -hmm. one target. It could be bigger group. Yeah. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. But couldn't we be throwing dynamite even earlier? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Like at the doors and stuff? Or... Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That is pretty common. You want to take advantage of that because you're trying to farm your Bob. You try Bob is a really strong ultimate. Allows you mm -hmm. to control the map in this way. Uh, taking advantage out of your dynamite. So we farm an ult charge in the door race. Even though enemies, they're not necessarily going to walk into it. You're still giving yourself a chance to farm extra percent. And when the fight starts, then we have another dynamite. Just in case. Oh, yeah. So now it's a dynamite. Uh, kind of think about it. Dynamite is the tool... I, let's use those terms poke face and brawl face uh are you familiar with what poke face means i actually forgot did we did we go over that yeah um what's that or what's poke yeah face? yeah you're familiar what poke face means exactly oh poke face oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh. so what is like, that uh, is it isn't it like poking the enemy team like uh not playing close to them but playing at a distance where you could mm -hmm. like do damage like Prevent them from pushing up or rotating. Uh, sure, sure. What's the difference between the poke phase and brawl phase? Um, poke phase is you're at a farther distance, like farther distance, and yeah. then brawl phase is like you're closer where you're yeah, like, brawling. Ex like. Exactly, exactly, kind of yeah. So I usually like to describe it this way: end up poke phase, we most of your team they're not going to be able to use most of their abilities in primary fire so it's kind of mm -hmm. poke primary fire is usually mostly off maybe some characters can do that like you anna can do it from really far range but most of you guys probably not going to be able to do so and then brawl phase is when most of your and enemy team members are actually able to press primary fire and cooldowns on each other so uh, what you're trying to do with your abilities is mm -hmm. ideally taking advantage out of the poker phase and brawl phase at the same time poke it's when you mostly farm an ultimate and brawl is mostly when you get a kill okay mm -hmm. so that is mm -hmm. when you want to think about the timing of your ability mm -hmm. we use the so we use the dynamite before right and then mm -hmm. here the fight just starts that's when brawl phase comes in. That's when it's really important for us to have an ability just in case. But now it's on four seconds cooldown. Obviously, Winston mm -hmm. did make a mistake. He, mm -hmm. well, he died. But if no, he yeah. <laughs> would stay alive, maybe it would be kind of crucial for you to have that additional dynamite. You see what I mean? So we're trying to mm -hmm. do some early pressure in the brawl phase here. Maybe one dynamite there. You get it back after once the brawl phase starts, you have it. And once they engage in, you're looking for a kill. And mm -hmm. it's not necessary that you use it on one person, obviously. You can use it on a big group of people. But when most of your team can do pressure, yeah? So it would be kind of, they start working choke use dynamite and they really have to choose they have to choose do they go back and waste time or do they go forward and actually mm. take the pressure from your team and dynamite at the same time so it's kind of this way mm -hmm. does a little bit of make sense yeah okay. oh yeah mm -hmm. it's 
So the dynamite is kind of either early or too late. Yeah, we can look at it this way. Now this dynamite makes sense if you you're looking for the kill, I think. Let's see. What is important about here? Mm, what an additional action he can do to kind of confirm oh. that kill potentially. Uh, what is uh, what is the combination you think you should be doing right there? Because to me, oh, is it shoot, shoot, and then throw dynamite, and then yeah, I think something like throw. that probably, right? Trying to like, shoot try to get him the... mm -hmm. one tap or something. Yeah, exactly. Because if you're looking for a kill, then there should be intention to burst the target. We're trying to shoot, cancel that animation with dynamite and shoot right away. After. Mm -hmm. mm, it's the most ideal, I think. So it's not just dynamite. Yeah. If the intention is to get a kill, obviously our positioning, wanna look into the corners too. We kind of played away from the corner there, but it's oh. okay. You have a rest so you can kind of live. I see what you mean now. Yeah, I just threw my dynamite on monkey. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Cause he's not gonna like he's not gonna die or he's not gonna what's it called? Mm -hmm. So the he's intention tank, so he... he... Yeah, he's a tank, and is he actively engaging? Is he actively going for that brawl phase, kind of? Yeah, see what I mean? Mm -hmm. The monkey now, he can just say, well, the dynamo is there, let me kite, stay here, and I'm not going to take damage. But we should m look at it the other way around. We want to let them in a little... And then we're using dynamite and we're saying you have to stay, take damage either from dynamite and my team or you're going to take damage because you have to waste time by going back. Let's say Winston jumped in here and used dynamite. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be kind of complicated for him to get out instantly. So he's going to take oh, a lot yeah. of damage. Mm -hmm. So that is our intention. If we using dynamite in the brawl phase. Mm -hmm. So see, if we cannot use the dynamite in the monkey, Let's see if there's better opportunity for us to use dynamite on anybody else. Uh, you tell me who that can be, who you can use your dynamite on. What do you think? Oh, or maybe uh, when? Gen mm -hmm. Genji or on their backline, I think. Mm -hmm. work. What do you think like is better? Um, probably the Genji, because I've been kind of like, kind of have vision on him, like, keep trying <laughs> to throw it inside. Yeah, yeah. He's more killable there too. He's quite isolated from his backline. Mm, mm -hmm. So it might be nice. Dynamite is also the tool which allows you to crush en enemies around the corners once they get there. Which is... Might work quite well if you looking to get those slow HP targets from time to time. Another thing. How do we use our shift? What is the purpose of the shift? What are you looking or was that? Uh, so I thought monkey was gonna jump, like, mm -hmm. so that's why I was trying to I was trying to rotate early, I guess. So you would, mm -hmm. like, just to prevent him from like, uh, like jumping on me, so I don't take the extra damage. Mm -hmm. So is that the most effective strategy? Because right now you use your shift and he can jump you now, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I what... probably should have waited because I I did it way too early. I was trying to like get out of the position where he has like sight of me, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. So we have to mm -hmm. wait for response. It's usually enemies going on you. They're using cooldown, same as Tracer. So using your blink, not to mm -hmm. just blink, but you responding to them, wasting their resources on you. So if Genji goes, using his dash. <clears throat> Maybe monkey jumps, then we have to rotate. We can use our coach gun and get away. Now it's not as necessary. If this happens, Genji commits, monkey commits, then you have your shift. But now because you don't have your shift too, you cannot hold aggressive position on the map. Like, who knows? Maybe you could play here and maintain mm -hmm. this aggressive angle. Still have good line of sight. But now you cannot do that because your shift is out. 
mm. you, are you because oh, yeah. you have your defensive abilities it helps you to be more aggressive same thing as the tracer or other characters remember we mentioned you want to have more blinks mm -hmm. because mm. you have more blinks that allows you to stay in a fight longer i'll have to rotate early because you don't have the defensive ability Mm -hmm. What do you think about dynamite? Uh, I think that one was fine because mm -hmm. yeah, they're all grouped up and they yeah. allowed me to get a lot of charge. Yeah, I think this one is pretty decent. Uh, you, because it's a brawl phase again, it's uh, pretty important your team get value out mm -hmm. of dynamite as well. Now it seems like they do. Your sibling gets while you and is kind of almost in a position to do so, so it's so right. Yeah, but that's what's important. Difference about the dynamites in the poke phase, it's it can be full charge too, but your team cannot get while you in the brawl phase. You're using the dynamite, doesn't matter kill or all charge, it's just your team should be able to get while you out of it. Mm -hmm. Because if the enemies are hiding around the corner, but the role phase is about to start, and you're using dynamite on them before they're going in, it's gonna be complicated. They can just cut it. Yeah? Here it's okay. Yeah? But especially when the Genji engages like this, he commits oh, yeah. to where your team is exactly, so he's gonna die, most likely. Mm -hmm. Is that. Like, this is what you wanna use your shift for, your Koji gun for. So it's not. I don't mm. think it should be done even here because there's yeah. no, just no resources for him to kill you. It's a good response in a way. Mm. Oh, well, it's all right. Let's put it this way. It's just because of the distance. That's why I'm a little mm. bit concerned because he's really far from you. That's, that's not as necessary. If he's closer, he's really in your face, then it's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because he cannot do enough burst to kill you when he is at this range. Mm -hmm. So like right here, I probably should have used it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like you... this is the range. This is the close range. Um, they mm -hmm. went after you, and monkey can definitely do a lot with his uh, jump, and uh, it's a zap together with the right click. All of that, scary. Yeah, so we could have used it there and then maybe go up on the high ground as well. Who knows? Maybe do that with a make after, burst the monkey later. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die, I think. Oh, that was just. That was bad positioning. I was. I saw my end, I'm like, oh, heal me, heal me. <laughs> Yeah, it's Instead mostly <laughs> being aware, being aware of yeah. this threat. It's kind of reminding yourself what they have and just thinking where this threat might be. So it, mm -hmm. it just happened before as well. Why then? It's mostly because we kind of forgot the way to make exist. Maybe you didn't press stub. Maybe it's just you've been focusing on something else, which is fine. If you've been working on something else, it's okay. Your attention was not necessarily on. The widow at that time. So I have a, a question. Um, yep. You know how there's like, a, like when I'm playing against Monkey or Ryan, do I focus on like, a, like or pretty much any shield tank? Do I focus on like breaking the shield, or is it better to take off angles? And, what do you think? Like, um. I think, because uh, we're like on the Sigma comp, I think it's better to, to kind of burst shield a little bit. Or, or actually, no, it'd probably be better for if I take off angles, because mm. we're on the poke comp. Well, if there would be different composition, what kind of composition could play for shield break? Oh, um, oh, like... Like bashing and stuff? Is that what you mean? Like it can like bashing, be. It's just Sigma. <clears throat> the primary, the primary understanding is we trying to control the map and force out resources. Usually, mm -hmm. in more scenarios, 
shields are defensive abilities. So if you shoot in the shields, then you're not forcing out something else. You're not forcing out their if they have soldier, you're not forcing out his healing station. You're not forcing out Anna's nades or sleep darts or a lot of shift or pylon. Mm -hmm. So in most cases it's a deal to avoid the shield, get around the defensive abilities, unless it puts you in really risky situation. Mm -hmm. For example, if you play Bashinko in mm -hmm. uh, Syria, you use a Bastion, you can take an angle to get around the shield on certain maps and pressure their backline. But the, sometimes there might be problems where backline have a lot of resources like something simple like Sleep Dart to just shut the Bastion off uh, so he's not going to do much. That's why mm -hmm. you not necessarily uh, can take those off angles, even though it's viable because it's really risky. So you could kind of just break the shield and then get to their backline after that's possible, but it's uh, not the primary thing to aim for. We always mm -hmm. try to find as many options for us to get around the shields. If not possible, then well, choose to play for shield rig. That's kind of oh. the usual kind of rule of thumb, I guess. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so against their oh, comp, yeah. <laughs> against the monkey, you pretty much poke out the divers uh, well depending on the situation obviously you can get on the back line get to the back line but yeah it's kind of you're looking at where most of your team can do damage trying to aim towards them without important resources you shoot the back line you make the winston's life harder because the back line can exist they can move up with the winston this sort of stuff but uh, you, mm -hmm. you might notice uh, against the dive comps, a lot of times it's kind of difficult for you to go after the backline though. Like there might be cases where they need a fire. So in reality, you can only effectively shoot the monkey. Like if your range, your effective range is ash, you really cannot get on the backline because you do zero damage. Then you could just mm -hmm. shoot the monkey and do decent damage. So it's always about that. Uh, kind of middle ground you need to make sure you do effective damage and damage the backline if you can if you cannot then obviously you gotta damage some something else your effective range is uh i believe it's 20 to 40 or 30 to 50 let's see mm, so it's a viper viper it fall off range 30 to 50 meters it's a uh, Yeah, it's pro it's secondary fire, and then your mm -hmm. hip fire it's twenty to forty, so that's your that's your distance. Just play this distance and aim at whatever mm -hmm. the target you can, the most valuable one. Should be. Oh, so when I'm scoped in, it's thirty to fifty. Or, or yeah, is it... oh, so okay. to fifty cool. exactly, exactly, exactly. It's kind of you notice you usually play around thirty meters. Uh, 20 mm -hmm. 30 meters in a way if we leave the game so it's just i'll go on the practice range your distance I'm the last one you're so it's more visual from here we're good with a scope fire on scope however no chance you do enough damage well it's still a lot but it's not enough uh, here you're already starting to have fall off for the scope so you do not want to oh, take that many duels at this range that is your ideal range with duels and later once the fight develops you'll notice there are going to be more opportunities for you to do the combo maybe do the shoot hip fire shoot it looks like this for example mm -hmm. the target is 20 meters it shoots sh uh, Keep fire, shoot, and then shoot again. So it's kind of just let me. Yeah, like this. Does um, mm. Widowmaker have the same distance, or is her like farther? Yeah, she... yeah, yeah. She's further. By... Oh, she's further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of. If we compare, if we compare Ash to Widow. The um, Ash is kind of more towards mid range. Widow, Widow's follow range is. Starting from forty to sixty, 
so she's oh, okay. uh, longer sniper. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it used to be it, it used to be even longer range actually, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. There's times where I take duels with Widow. Do you think it's like bad or better to play like at your distance? Like it's not bad. Like to take duels. You just need to play your effective range. Mm -hmm. it, it's just with any character. That's what I've been talking about a lot. You want to make sure you use a trace so you're not playing really far range, right? You're not playing really uh, <laughs> like a sniper. It's actually the same. You want to take mid-range angles, make sure you exist at the proper range most of the time, obviously. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions? Or? Uh, no, I, no. I think everything you explained is good. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. So we uh Alvin. Hmm. So it's kinda of here. When we mm, let me slightly a little bit more back, yeah. That's when we kind of took an off angle, yeah. Hello. They took an off angle on the left. Start shooting the monkey, you can see anything else. Obviously you wanna be aware of the back one just in case the seat darts and such. Something to aim for, so do not tunnel vision on this. Yeah, this is what's oh, yeah. more important, especially when your Sigma goes for ultimate. You expect people start running away, or maybe just an ultimate, any ultimate. You expect the people kind of give up space, try to hide. So, yeah, your first aim is towards the back line. Mm. Yeah, I do that a lot. I definitely tunnel vision, like, especially when I'm like on scoped characters, like with a or uh, Ana sometimes mm -hmm. too like I usually like like focus on my scope too much instead of like zoning like scoping out like that right that's why you have to unscope sometimes and just look around check what's going on around you on the position mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you think about here where you should play um, I think I'm too close up I no. should probably play like by that bush probably like so it's a so round a here yeah uh, that is yeah, your like that coin. not distance it's a 30 minutes kind of even less actually from here you can do easy scope shots i think and then if somebody's gonna get closer to you you can do unscope if needed and also answer with your shift once they dodge. See, this is way too early. We using the shift now. Yeah. They good go on you now. The Genji can close the gap easily, and you have to give up a lot of space because of it. If you could hold oh, yeah. space aggressively and just keep shooting him, you not only disabling the Genji, disabling the backline, Winston's dive and everything. And once they go on you, you can trade more effectively. You can trade, who knows, maybe one shift for bubble and dash with the deflect. <laughs> Something like that. Mm -hmm. So, dynamite makes sense. You get a kill. Just uh, trying to do. Well, he was deflecting, so it's okay. You can dynamite here right away. Okay. Get rid of everybody. Is the dynamite? What do you think about dynamite? Um, it was. I think it could have been probably better if 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 he was one, or if it, we're all grouped up pretty much, because pretty much he got no all charge or anything. I could have just shot instead instead of throwing dynamite. But don't you think? Once they group, they gonna brawl, with, and then you have to keep your dynamite for the brawl phase. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, I probably should have. Uh, what's it called? Oh no, you're right. I probably should have thrown it earlier. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it's. I think it's different here. It's like. Mm -hmm. You see an enemy, you saw it right away. You in the poke phase right now. 
So mm -hmm. the aim is not to find a big group of people. The, yes, you farm an old charge, mm -hmm. but the aim is is just farm any old charge, and then you can do it later again because you're in a brawl phase. Yeah, so you oh, could basically okay. throw your dynamite even twice maybe in the pool phase because you do it right away. It's just big uptime. Just make sure you prepare for the brawl phase though. Mm hmm. Mm, okay, so it's okay to like do that before before the brawl phase. Yeah, okay. exactly. Because you have your dynamite now when the brawl phase starts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you use it too late, then your dynamite will not be there. See what I mean? Oh yeah, I see. I was uh, <laughs> argued. So, what do you think about this dynamite there? Um, it was I was throwing it on monkey, but mm -hmm. I got it on the back line instead. Or on. Is it the best yeah. time for us to sow dynamite? Mm, Are we in a bro phase or poke phase? Poke phase. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. but it's important to have dynamite for the bro as well. Are they gonna start brawling soon? In less than yep. twelve seconds. Yeah. Probably. Uh, All right. Yeah. Probably so, gonna look to dive soon. Exactly. That's why you need your dynamite. Yeah, you can. You you should use the dynamite in the pool phase. Just make sure you have mm -hmm. it in the brawl phase as well. Because if the dive you don't have an answer, then it's gonna be quite complicated. We're mm -hmm. not necessarily again, obviously, uh, dyna use dynamite on a monkey. Maybe you can use it on the back line, but see what I mean. This is not as good. Now, once they trying to actually engage, they committing mm -hmm. resources to going now, use the dynamite on something, maybe even Genji, maybe their back line, but yeah, it should be done like kind of run here, maybe you have mm -hmm. it, and then they all. Yeah, they're all gonna be under the dynamite effect. Because all of this helps you to disable their engagement completely. Because you poke them more. You poke them when it matters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so far we have what? We have... Oh, shift, usage, dynamite, dynamite usage, poke, roll face. What else? Just combos, yeah. I guess that's for the most part, that's it. Playing your proper range mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at this point you definitely shouldn't oh, be yeah. here. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> should be somewhere else. Where do you think you should be right now? Um, I should probably be back there, like, cause they already cap point, so I should mm -hmm. be on the high ground. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. And that's when again you use your dynamite because it's a poke phase, and then you get your dynamite back for the brawl phase well they're actually gonna take space more actively if you know your sigma is gonna die you probably expect them to take space more actively so you kind of save the dynamite to roll people because they're gonna engage on you or your teammates probably by now the fight starts okay poke phase dynamite you have time you can even do it on the genji well actually you have ultimate so you don't need it if you wouldn't have mm -hmm. ultimate then you can do the poke dynamite and then uh, try to Walk forward, look for the kill for the dynamite. Mm -hmm. So it's just we kind of isolated at this point. Mm -hmm. Want to be careful. Was not good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You wanna, especially against the dive, be careful. You don't wanna be isolated away from. Not playing with your team, just away from your resources. You want to make sure oh, you yeah. receive something, you receive the support. Even Kiri right there, she can use Suzu. Obviously, she could TP, but it's risky. It's mm -hmm. risky for her. You need to play in line of sight from your teammates. Okay. Nice, got a kill. Oh, 
What do you think about dynamite there? Ooh, um, that was bad dynamite. There's is, a. Is it ne no necessary sight. intention? If we land a dynamite, is it good? Um, no, not re not really. If I land in the dynamite there, because probably just hide behind a car or something and be no. They're they're not one shot or anything, so they're all they're all at full yeah. health. But why it was good to saw dynamite and spawn doors then, at the start? Because it was the poke phase, it was for we were brawling and stuff. Right, yeah, but aren't we... Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, well, you can sort of say you're almost about to brawl. Let's say your team isn't spawned, then what? Um. Oh, if my team's in spawn, then yeah. I'd probably save my resources for... If they're gonna engage me, like if they're gonna brawl me, just so I could like uh, just for uh, what's called for, save my resources for survivability, so I don't uh, what's called if I get dove on or anything, I could save it for uh, when I get dove on. Mm -hmm. Okay, if your team is here, uh, they have the distance, but they have line of sight on you, but they're far. So then what? Mm -hmm. Oh, if if they have line of sight, like oh, if they're like over there by the cart. Oh, you team, you like... team. If they have line of sight in you, they can support you, right? So. Oh yeah. How do you use oh, your dynamite then? Um. Uh, the dynamite. Yeah. Um, I'd use it uh, early then. I'd use it for like when um. I use it for when I see like uh, what's called like people. I use it to like take space, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So it's a poke face dynamite. Yeah. It's just for me, mm -hmm. it's important to so you understand the difference between the poke face and brawl face. Yeah. Like why? What is the difference? Poke face. Most of the enemy team and your team they can shoot each other actively. Brawl face. Mm -hmm. Most of your team and the enemy they can. You need to have dynamite for the brawl face for sure, and use it in the poke face. Okay, but oh, okay. there's an exception. You shouldn't use your dynamite in the poke face here. Why? <laughs> um, there's no sight, and then also it's there's no um, there's no resources being used. They have they're not. Uh, it's called. It's not like a kill opportunity, pretty much. So it's like. But but the, there's there's no kill on opportunity when you saw dynamite and spawn either. They spawn either, right? Mm -hmm. So what oh, is the yeah. difference then? Um, Why it's bad to use dynamite here if you're in a poke face? Oh, because uh, there's no vision, pretty much. Like, okay, I don't okay. Have Remember, vision. we have two things. We aiming mm -hmm. to do what? Get a kill with a dynamite or to farm wool church. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. You can get a kill. Can you farm wool charge? No. No, because you have an ultimate. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so, true. It's just important. Oh, that makes sense. That's important to understand. Yeah, it might be small, oh, yeah. <laughs> but we just fundamentally breaking it. And I get a kill or a farm wool charge. You can farm wool charge because you have ult already. So. Oh, that makes sense. It's yeah, just I, giving I, them wool charge sense. basically. <laughs> if you using your dynamite, let's say. Even not here, but you have your ultimate and using it in a spawn doors there. Doesn't make sense mm -hmm. again because there's no yeah, there's no point. They're just gonna get oh, healed yeah. anyway. They you giving mm -hmm. them all charge without giving yourself all charge. So mm -hmm. not their deal. I didn't think of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Totally forgot, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. That's why you can remember all of this all of this intentions when you do the pressure. I think I do that a lot too. Like when I'm, uh, when I ever have Bob, I always throw my dynamite out, like in right. phase and stuff. Yeah, it can be done if you get in a kill, but not for the wall mm -hmm. charge. Yeah. That's that's the main thing. If there's a high chance of getting a kill, go for the dynamite for sure. Yeah, buffs of the card might work. Definitely want to kind of keep keep going this way, so the kills will not mm -hmm. be separated. Because of the bubble, but it's okay. I think the intention with the bob was alright. Hmm. 
Okay, start the fight. And then you're gonna go for dynamite. What do you think? Uh, bad, bad dynamite. Why? Because uh, there's no kill opportunity or there's no, uh, what's it called? Uh, there's no all charge being used. Like, or, I mean, there's no all charge. Mm, is there really no kill opportunity? Mm, not really. I think I just threw not it yet. out to like, like, oh, I think they're right there. Like, I just kind of threw it out as like, mm -hmm. thinking they're going to be around there. Yeah, because I, I think it's kind of okay-ish timing if you can get to the bubble, obviously. But oh, you, yeah. ju you just got to keep in mind that your team is around the corner. So maybe waiting out just a little, keeping in mind the bubble. And that would be good dynamite. But you have oh, to be yeah. aware, obviously. Your team is engaging. Well, there's a kill opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just the bubble in the way. Ah, wait. Actually, it's, it's your bubble. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's our bubble. I just threw it at the door because I was seeing to see if he was there, but... Yeah, it's sort of okay. The timing is okay. It's just the way it ended up, it's not the best. You need to kind of make sure it ends up inside the room. Inside the room, yeah. Yeah. So we kind of ideally move to here. Again, remember effective range. You shouldn't be here. Not Reaper or Torb Tracer. You kind of go in here and then you have your dynamite mm -hmm. in the room. Just sewing it from the south side. Mm, the fight is over. Same thing. Dynamite poke face. Will charge. If you don't get it, it's okay. Obviously, you can aim for better timings. Just predict when they're gonna come from. So you get your dynamite back when the pro face starts again. But it's not bad. It's the, int the intention is okay. Overall, you get your dynamite back. You use your dynamite. The only question is if you use that, are you gonna get it in the pro face or not? Yeah. So. You kind of holding your dynamite because you probably expect the brawl phase to start really soon. Mm -hmm. That's when brawl phase starts in, and we just want to see the timing. Yep. What do you think about it? I think this one is good because there's a there's window, so they're most likely gonna right. all be grouped up there. Yeah, they're gonna group, gaining... be grouped up. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, and what as well? I was gonna say I'm gaining alt charge from that, and then mm -hmm. also. Weakening them to the point where they have to use like shift and other abilities, like or like if they have to use uh, just like uh, they have to rather than shooting at us, they're gonna be healing each other pretty much. Yeah, see what is important about this dynamic they committing something in a pro phase, you shut it down. It can be all. It can be them walking, they commit something, yeah, they commit up an ability, so you disable that completely. If you would use dynamite. Before the window, it would be bad because they could just cut it. I know. Mm -hmm. Now they is telling you we're pushing. We're gonna use the window, and you shut them down completely. You they're not able to get enough value out of it because if they peak, they're gonna be on the dynamite effort, uh, which happens mm -hmm. here actually. So it forces out more resources, which is nice. See. Kind of disengaged there. What about this dynamite? The intention with the dynamite. What do you think? Um, I think it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all grouped up. And then Is there a kill opportunity with a brawl face kinda? So what do you think? Oh, if there's a kill opportunity, um, Probably not, because they're all uh, full health. But, I mean, it, there could yeah, be... Yeah, but again, the, the timing of the brawl phase, the kill opportunity, it's not really... You get a kill, it's about most of your team being able to get value mm -hmm. of the dynamite. Can your team get value out of dynamite here? Um. Oh, uh... I would say no, because they're, they're all far back, so... They won't have vision. Maybe not yet. Yeah, maybe just slightly later. I think if they all push forward, then for sure, I would say. Yeah, you see, there's a no. They all back there. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. You see, there's an ultimate, so we kind of expect them to push forward. So it's okay. Just mm -hmm. make sure they can contribute. It's probably would be nice if you have dynamite right now. I think like, because mm -hmm. your team can contribute. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So that's all. All of it makes sense. All this timings and such. Uh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, should we do game and try to apply something or? Um. Yeah. Sure. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's.